all right here i'm here with my uh fk8 2017 type r in this video i'm basically just going over the mods i already did that in my last video just briefly but i didn't go over pricing well in this video i'll be going over the pricing and i'll be giving you a screenshot of where you can buy it how much it is just a very detailed screenshot of exactly where to get it we're just going to work from the front and then just go around the car here is the hood that is actually my most recent purchase was the uh the hood was sixteen hundred dollars um, i'll put a screenshot somewhere around here um but this is a varus style hood not the real varus one the varus style um the real varus one is three grand uh, i didn't want to spend that much for a hood uh, at least just three grand on one piece in general the varus style one this one's 1600 and it is real carbon. It is fully functional, open vent. And I'm pretty sure this vent works, maybe. Uh, and it's supposed to go out through the side fender here. But yeah, I, I was really just going for the looks and for the functional big scoop here and real carbon. So that's, that's all I really care about. Rep, uh, hood, whatever, it, it's real carbon. Anyway, moving on. These hood pins here are $140. I didn't want to cheap out on some cheap hood pins because uh, I really need this hood to stay down. And if you don't know this, it's highly recommended for you to run hood pins on a carbon uh, hood because of its uh, being so light. Going on the highway or high speeds, it can fly up and smash your windshield. So I would rather spend the $140, which I did for these pins, uh, over a whole new windshield and a new hood because then now your hood's gone and your windshield. So um, just more peace of mind because in Mexico, I do race uh, occasionally here and there. So, and on the track. In the engine bay here, we have a PRL intake, which was $400. And then um, there is a PRL downpipe, which was eight or $900 for that as well. To go with that, I also have a K-Tuner, um, not the full screen one, but just the OBD plugin, and that was $450. I guess to go with the airflow, we'll do the uh, exhaust next. All right, for the exhaust portion, we have the Gretti DDR exhaust, uh, catback, non-resonated. Uh, this was, I believe, $900. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next piece since we're already at the back. The Mugen rear underspoiler. I don't have a full Mugen kit just because it doesn't really make sense to have a full Mugen kit on a, a black car, in my opinion. I, I think the Mugen kit really looks good on all the other colors, but just not black because you're not gonna really notice it. I'd rather get like just carbon fiber uh, instead to give a tiny bit more of a pop. Um, so the Mugen piece was $800, $700. I'll put it on the screen there. All right, we got the next piece, which is the uh, carbon spoiler, but it's just the middle piece here. And that was 600 bucks, I believe. Just to show you, you can't tell now. We get a little bit closer. That is carbon, for sure. All right, next piece, next piece, we have the Mugen tail lights. Uh, these are not real Mugen tail lights. Um, I think the real ones were 600 to 1,000. I think um, I have gotten these for like 400, four or 500, something like that. All right, I had to grab my keys out of the car, but um, these are sequential, and I really just wanted sequential um, all the way around. I forgot to actually show you the the uh, the headlights. Uh, sequ they were uh, sequential as well. For functionality, I guess I should just turn them on to show you in case you are uh, debating on getting it and then you have a reference here. Here's what they look like on and the turn on animation. Um, I like them a lot even though I can't see them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the headlights on. And it does have an animation as well. Uh, we'll do the DRLs. So that's what my uh, 
daytime running lights look like uh, with that animation. Uh, if you unlock the car or lock it, there's the sequential um, look. With the lights actually fully on on, uh, it just has a little bulb uh, look uh, like around this area for both sides, which I don't really like. I really just like the DRL look, but whatever. Uh, also, the uh, front mount intercooler, front mount, front mount. Damn, I cannot talk. The front mount intercooler is a Perrin one, P-E-R-R-I-N. Uh, I've I'm under a rock, so I didn't know that brand, but um, that that one actually came with the car, but we're gonna include it in the mod list anyway, just cause I bought the car. But anyway, uh, I'll, I forgot what the price is on that one. I'll put it up, obviously, and you'll see for me. The main part of the build is the wheels. So these are Ray's Graham Lights 57 DR. These wheels are wrapped in the Continental Extreme Contact uh, DWS 06 Plus. These are all season uh, tire. Very smooth ride. So, uh, they said it was like a soft tire, which uh, I totally agree. It's a very comfortable ride. All right, we're in the driver's seat. The only interior mod I have in here, uh, I don't know if you can even call this a mod, but it's a subwoofer in the back. It is one 12 inch. But I mean, obviously you can get that in any car. Um, but the actual real mod I have in here is just a shift knob. This is the um, Acuity shift knob. This is the one that, uh, the insulated one. So it helps it not get too like hot or too cold. Uh, that was 140 bucks. And I actually have a different Acuity shift knob it's a red one that's aluminum, but in the summer, it burns the hell out of my hand. Like uh, on a 90 degree day, it only takes a 90 degree day where it, I shit you not, if you could probably cook an egg on the shift knob, that's how hot it is. Oh, in my last video, I forgot that I could turn down the gain of my mic. Or I didn't, I didn't even think about it, but I will do it for this now that I'm gonna get an audio clip again for the exhaust just to give you more justification if you want to buy the exhaust and we'll do some intake uh, sound clips and maybe some driving who knows but uh, let's get into the sound clips
right, well, that is the end of the video. Uh, that is my video for the entire mod list of my car, where you can get it, what website, and how much it costs. Hopefully, uh, if you are in the market or will be in the market for an FK8, this was uh, helpful for you. Um, or if you're just here just to, uh, if you just like FK8 content and stuff, intake noises and the uh, exhaust clips, I think the next video will be a ride along, maybe day in the life of FK8. That sounds like more of a weekend move because during the day, my day in the life is boring. I just go to work and then go home. Since I am in a car group, um, I can give you a little bit more of insight of what happens within a car group, uh, what we do, go and do shoots when we go cruise. So we can probably shoot a video for that. Um, I do have two mics, so I can have my mic and someone else have the other one, and we can talk to you guys. That is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.